Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the solution for error MySQL shutdown unexpectedly in just two minutes. So this is really simple. First of all, we are going to just stop this and we're going to close this. Then we need to go to our file explorer and then we need to go where we have downloaded our XAM. So I downloaded my XAM in local C. So I'll go to local C and here you can see XAM folder. Then we need to go inside XAM folder after that we need to find the folder called mysql so here you can see mysql folder so we need to go inside then here you can see we have some folder here and here you can see we have a folder called data so first of all we need to rename this folder so we are going to rename it to data underscore let's say or so right now we need to create a folder called data so just right click here then click on new then here you can see folder click on folder and we need to name this data you need to name it data folder then we are going to go inside the data underscore old folder so let's go inside and from here we are going to copy every folder from here then we are going to copy this ib data on file just select all those then just copy it after copying those you need to go to the data folder and you need to paste over here there you go so after pasting those files and folder here, we need to go back. Then we need to go to the backup folder. There you can see. So we'll go inside. And from here, we're going to select every file and folder except this file, ibdata on. So just copy this, control C, or you can just copy it like this. Then go back and we're going to paste it inside the data folder. So we're going to paste it here, control V or you can just paste it like this and here it will show that uh, replace the file in the destination so you need to click here replace the file in destination and there you go so it is done so right now we can just close this and we can open our XAMPP let's open our XAMPP and if we now start our Apache and MySQL there you can see this type it is running properly so this is how you can solve your issue i hope this was useful 